Hello, Gemini. Welcome back. Um, still live in here. I'm going to go ahead and get straight into your reading. I'm really excited to be here uh, once again. I had to take, um, I was forced to take a break, to be honest. Before I start, I want to talk about my Moldavite. Okay, I will send you this Moldavite energy if that's what you want. Go ahead and claim it right now. Because I feel like um, you guys could use it. I was called to talk about it in your guys' reading. Um, nobody else has got this yet. But Moldavite is all about transformational experiences. And so maybe some of you guys are ready to like make a huge change or a huge shift in your life. Or you will be experiencing something very, very transformational very soon. All right. So if you want this energy, claim it now. All right. So let's go ahead and get straight into your reading. This is for all Gemini, Sun and Rising, Venus. Let's go ahead and see what's coming your way or what is Gemini dealing with right now. What does Gemini need to know about their experience or what they're going through? House six, establishing foundation, health, daily life, and practical details. Yes, so maybe things for you right now are getting a little bit too practical. Maybe you're getting a little bit bored with your schedule. Maybe there's a need to kind of just switch things up. It doesn't even have to be super transformational. It could just be you making a couple changes to your routine. Because I know that being a Gemini, if things get too fixed or things get too the same, you could tend to get bored or dull. And you guys are all about exploring and just like, you know, doing doing different different things and just having fun and like, enjoying life so if things get too dull or boring i understand that um you guys like want to shift from from place to place or whatever but with um house six and fixed i do feel like there may be a need to just embody this energy as well so you're going to take whatever resonates for you guys but with stability persistence loyalty and dependability this is all about you Maybe you're being very dependent right now, like, or so, not dependent, like people can rely on you is what I'm trying to say. Like, maybe you're being very um, independent and people rely on you and you're just kind of focused on your, you could be focused on your job, your career, your goals, or just your everyday life. For some of you, maybe you're interested in getting a palm ring or something like that. What's coming towards Gemini and what does Gemini need to know? But there is a lot of stability like that's coming out of you focusing on your health, you focusing on your daily routine, and you establishing this foundation. This is definitely going to bring a lot of stability your way. I do feel like if some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo, um, a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius, this person is a really loyal person, a very dependable person. Okay, so you guys get your life as a canvas, artist manifestation, creative accountability. So you guys are really good with your hands with something, okay? This can be something really artistic. This can be something even very different, like I'm getting clay making, like clay pottery or something like that. Pottery making. Um, or something that you do with your hands that's very, maybe very different, very unique. So you got the love, definitely... Right, what I would, look, I got codependency here. If some of you guys have become codependent on someone, then maybe it is time to take your energy back. All right, you're going to know because, it, or maybe even codependent on something. Darian energy. Hmm. Yeah, it's like it's time to take care of yourself, like focus on yourself and and put yourself first, okay? Try to try to make every day about um, your health goals. If it is that you don't have someone around you like you usually do. Let's see what this is about. What is what's Gemini going through? So I got a lot of, you guys need more self-love in your life, okay? So you have the king of coins. So this is all about a lot of stability or something um, that you're building for yourself. This can be your own business. You may already be a business owner, but you as the king of coins, this is someone who's really mature. I do feel like your experiences as a child have made you very mature. 
your experiences as a child have made you very mature but it's almost like you're also you've also created some sort of codependency on materialistic things or some sort of codependency on um your routine okay this is not bad this is not bad but maybe for some of you guys maybe it's time to do something new or to follow your heart and just do something different um with your you're an artist you're a manifester like you can bring about whatever creations you want but there is a need to open up your heart and follow what it is that you want to do and like let go of fear because this is also like the devil card here and it's like there may be some fear behind what you want to do but it's you're slowly but surely moving in the right direction okay because you do got to a wand so it's like you already know what you need to do and there will be a shift in perception or a, a shift in perspective um that you're making i do want to say that there's a lot of abundance around you um especially when it comes to starting something new or if you have been thinking about moving in a different direction maybe even for some of you this is like a new partnership, a new relationship, or just maybe there's someone around you who you want to start a relationship with or who you're kind of having, um, you have feelings for. There's a need to, there's a need to follow your heart and there is a need to follow that. Mm. There, yeah, there's a need to follow your heart for sure. But with the Knight of Cups here, there's someone around you who, who is interested in you and who wants to work on building something with you, okay? I do feel like this person is reliable. They're very, um, they're a very stable person. A very stable person, okay? I do feel like they're gonna, they're, they're the type of person who will invite you out. They're the, they're the type of person who will um who will say like they're not afraid to they're not afraid to kind of like go with the flow and i do feel like this person has a bigger perspective on you than you even know because i don't feel like you have never noticed this person i feel like you have noticed this person among the crowd and i do feel like they stood out to you maybe because of what they have said maybe because they have been persistent maybe because they have done something or they just kind of stand out about above the crowd in some type of way that i feel like you have noticed them but i i don't feel like you've ever given this person a chance gemini yeah i don't feel like you've ever given this person a chance but i do feel like you're ready to go with the flow and you're ready to um create something new for yourself or create a new experience and i do feel like you have that ability to do so um Add a wave of a hand and by that I mean maybe through text message, through expressing yourself in some type of way or saying something to this person that um, will kind of get you guys going in the right or different direction. So let me see. Take things slow if you need to. I feel like with time you will know if like this person is right for you or not. But I feel like this person is literally around the corner if you haven't met them. Yeah, because you get changed. Know when to move to a new shelf, especially if yours no longer fits. So this is all about like you wanting changes or you wanting to make some sort of change. Or This can be a career change for some of you. And then self-care. You guys get this over and over again, right? Because this came out reversed, which is telling me there's, more, there's a need to take care of yourself, to take care of your health, to pay attention to your health. And um, to keep working on this with fixed sign, this is all about working out as well. Working out can be very beneficial for you. It can help you bring a lot of stability into your into your um, life. Keep working out. Keep taking care of yourself. Focus on self-love. Okay? Yeah, take the helm. And that's what he's doing. It's like he's got this eagle. And the eagle I see as a sidekick. Like for some of you, maybe you have a sidekick or a brother or a sister or someone who gives you really, really good advice or gives you intel on what's happening above. Like this person may um, sense energy. Like this person, the person that you guys have around you, maybe this is even you, like your higher self. This could be your higher self. Um, your higher self senses energy or this could be a best friend, right? They sense energy, they tell you and they like confirm messages to you that you already knew were there. Or they confirm energy that you already know is there. Every time you tell this person something, it, it's like they tell you and confirm what you already knew. 
So it's like you have a sidekick that tells you to do something and you're being asked to take action on it. The king of coins is someone who takes action anyway, so it's very responsible. So there is a need for some of you guys to pay attention to your responsibilities, okay? Um, but don't let your responsibilities take over your life. Like there's a need to balance things out and take care of yourself as well. So this is what's coming to you this week. Um, I really hope you enjoyed your reading. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a self-care oracle because you guys got a lot about self-care. House six is all about self-care. The king of coins, the ace of cups. You guys got a lot. Like so don't 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 drown in responsibilities or just the materialistic side of life. Like make sure you're getting out there and enjoying life and taking things easy as well. Because for some of you it's time to make a, a career change for some of you guys, to be honest. Because you guys may just be unhappy where you're at. And I do feel like there's something much better for you. But there's a need for you to believe in yourself. And believe that you that you can do it without being afraid. Believe that you can cha make a change for yourself. You got sync with the moon. So check the moon tonight. And check what the energy, what energy is around it. You also get connect with your womb. This is all feminine energy, so it's a it's it's a good time to connect with your feminine side. Okay, spend time with animals. Maybe for some of you, you have a pet that you've been neglecting. It's time to uh, spend some time with that pet. Okay, take it for a walk or do something that's just gonna calm calm you in some sort of way. Whatever it is that you like to do, whatever is calming to you. You got clean your space. Maybe you really you're a really clean person. You like to clean a lot, and this helps you. Or maybe, maybe for some of you guys, you just need to clean. Like, it's time to spring clean. So, Gemini, that's all I have. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. I will catch you guys here next time on your other readings. Bye for now.